At the same time, um, another friend of mine and I, we decided that we should have a video crew that follows my dad around, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, just to capture all the yeah. footage that we could get, you know, for you later on. Mm -hmm. And when I was doing that, I was one time, this is before nomination day, I think, because we started the week before nomination. Okay, for getting daddy around. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, I was at the PPBM headquarters and and all the Pakatan leaders came in for a meeting. So I was like, you know, meeting all of them. And, and it, it's one thing I must say, I mean, I knew a lot of them, mm -hmm. you know, and and um, and it was so nice and casual. Like it, it didn't mm -hmm. feel like. Oh, formal. you know, that's formal and protocol because yeah. these are our leaders yeah, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and Lim Gone Ng was there and he said, Oh, Marina, you got to come to Penang and talk. <laughs> I said, what? Eh? Oh, you know, we're having this, you know, uh, drama. drama. So you come and, and talk. I said, why me? I can just, just come. And I said, oh, okay then. And then I walked into the room and Teresa Court was there. And he said, you, 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 come, 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 come and talk. And in my place, and then Fami Fazil was like, "Oh, you got to do mine too," you know. So it, it kind of right. started to snowball, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> and I, I got so like, oh, you know, like I've never done uh, political drama mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that, and so I asked a friend of mine, like, I need someone to help me with the scheduling of all this, mm -hmm. and and. To, to tell me a bit about these places because I don't know anything, you know. So he lent me one of his staff mm -hmm. who turned out to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, and um, so I, I started off, like I was in Langkawi for nomination day in the morning. And after that, I flew from Langkawi to Penang. Okay. And that very night, I had to do, because they added things, uh, one in Prai. Mm -hmm. um, which is my first ever one, and that was already like, oh my god, you know, this feel, I mean, that was, it was very dark, so I couldn't tell how many people there were, but there were quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And so that was my first ever, and, and it went quite okay, you know, so I thought, okay, and it was crazy, because we did that, and you know, they have all these marathon mm -hmm, speakers, mm -hmm. so I arrived, and there was someone speaking, and, and, you made your turn. and then it was my turn. And while I was doing that, Guan Ying arrived. Um, and then, so I finished mine. And then, I think he was on. So, and I was supposed to go to the Esplanade mm -hmm. to speak. So I thought, well, I better stay for him since, you know, he's my host, sort of. And, and after he finished, and we both got into our cars and like went off to. <laughs> To the island, yeah, right. and there were some people who started out there, mm -hmm. like for instance Nuru Iza, mm -hmm. and then she was coming over. You know, I mean, it was nuts. You know, and I went over there, and then we got stuck in this terrible jam, quite near, already in the middle of town. And at one point, he got out of his car behind me. He said, "I'm going on a motorbike. I'm going there on a motorbike." Uh, oh, okay, but. I don't know whether I can do that. I mean, my budget grow and all that. He said, no, 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 you stay in your car. It'll take you another 40 minutes. Okay. okay. Well, they gave me a very nice car and I had Diana Sophia mm -hmm. keeping, uh, keeping me company. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> but we got there actually, I don't know how the driver found the way, but we got there in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I arrived and they like, you know, and then they took me and I couldn't see, you know, I was by the, we arrived by the town hall. And they took me in, and they took me right on the stage, and the MC announced me, and I got to the front of the stage, and then I looked up, and I just saw this incredible feel of people. I mean, I swear it was a hundred thousand people, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. That's all holding up their phones, and it was just overwhelming. You know, you really feel like, goosebumps. this must be how the Rolling Stones <laughs> feel. You know, because it was just amazing. They were all screaming and, and shouting, you know. It was just amazing. Oh, my message um, was basically I, I, I talked about... Well, I always gave greetings from my, my dad. Mm -hmm. And which they all seemed to love. Like, 
<laughs> rockstar kan? Your dad is a rockstar. So yeah. So yeah, I'm like, just the substitute one. <laughs> and then um and then talked about why he's out there campaigning, you know, at age 92 and and it's because he feels so strongly that this country is is suffering and that we need to save it. And then I'll say but he can't do it alone. So he has to do it with the other Pakatan uh leaders and also with with the rakyat like you all have to come out you all have to help him and uh, you know the only way it will work is if you all come out in big numbers and vote and um and that was basically it and then a little bit about uh what Pakata wants to do not so much uh, because I, i'm not a politician yeah. So I didn't talk so. So it's more like the personal stories, like like every time I mention, like you know, my dad is spent. You know, we were so happy when he stepped down fifteen uh, years ago because then he had time to play with his grandchildren. I say, you know, he has eighteen grandchildren, and everyone goes, oh, <laughs> like they loved all these little tidbits, you know, personal tidbits, and. Um, Yeah, so you know, just that. So kind of built up mm-hmm. from that. Um, basically, you know, just like three things. Right. Uh, Tony Pua was also there, and he we were doing marathon with him, and he was like, I think he had no more voice. You know, he really had no voice anymore. Um, and and the last one I remember is this. So um, I think it's Chandu Bay, Kapu Chandu Bay. Mostly Malay area, <clears throat> and it was starting to rain, and and there was thunder and lightning. And as I was on this stage, which was, I swear the floor was metal. Yeah. I was thinking, oh God, I'm gonna be, gonna like I'm gonna be electrocuted, you know, speaking here. So just managed to like, and then okay, why I gotta go? <laughs> and then came back to, uh, to KL. So.